What's up everybody, Jesse here with VMP Performance and today we're going to show you how to install our updated heat exchanger harness onto your S550 car. Let's get started. All right, before we get to the car, we're going to show you what's in the package. I'm going to unwrap it, show you the changes, show you the supplemental instructions that you'll find, and then we can install it in the vehicle. So the first couple of things you'll notice is we have the piece of paper here. These are your supplemental instructions that tell you which fuse to hook up to. You'll notice you have the fuse with the jumper in the package as well. So you're gonna set those aside for now. You'll install the harness, and then here is where the change comes in. Normally on the old harnesses, this orange wire was a lot longer and it extended to the radio transistor on the back of the cylinder head. We found that this wasn't shutting the heat exchanger fans off as soon as we'd like, so we modified it to shut off sooner. This now goes to your fuse box. So you'll run the harness normally like you would, attach to your power wires, and then jump in line to a fuse, again, which is provided in the kit. And they tell you exactly where to hook it up with your supplemental instructions. So now let's move over to the car. We'll get it installed and you'll see exactly how it works. This end is gonna plug into our intercooler pump, which will be mounted in this area. So we're gonna swap over here, start with the fans. Plug the fans in, then we'll move up to this area to mount the relays. You're gonna locate the three factory grounds. We're gonna mount relay, ground, relay. We'll start with the bottom. Make sure you mount the relay on top of the factory ground, not underneath the factory ground. Then you'll locate the black wire from the kit. mount the last relay. Once these are in place, we can route the rest of our harness behind the headlight and up into the engine bay. Now we'll move up top and we'll connect to the fuse box. Now we're up top, you're gonna locate the instructions that came with your heat exchanger harness and the fuse. You're gonna go through, look for your year, make, model, and it's gonna tell you exactly where to hook the fuse up. So we're gonna to move to the fuse box. Now that our power wire is run, we can hook up our main power. We're gonna attach right here. Take the 10 millimeter nut off. Put our two power wires there. And reinstall the 10 millimeter nut. Now that that is all in place, make sure that the wire is routed to where it will not pinch and reinstall the fuse box cover. Now we're gonna take our two fuses for this system and we're gonna zip tie them up to this factory location just so we can access them later. All right, now you've seen the updates to our S550 heat exchanger harness. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to contact our sales and support line. And in the meantime, like, share, and subscribe to all our social medias.